today's video is my long-awaited finished Miami apartment tour. By the time I was ready to film this video, it was also time to move out of the apartment, but I still wanted to film this anyway because I feel like it's really great inspo for anybody moving into a studio and needs some ideas or tips on how to lay out the studio apartment and make it feel very homey, which I feel like is what I accomplished in this apartment. So I'm excited to show you guys. This is a studio in downtown Brooklyn, Miami, and it's 456 square feet. I found that it was the perfect amount of space for me, although I do now live in a bigger apartment, but I still think it's very livable, especially for one person, and I absolutely love the way that I set it up. So stay tuned and let's get into the tour. Okay, so starting with the front door over here on the right, I have my keys and some masks hanging just so that they're easy access for walking out the door. And then if you turn around, this is like the little entranceway hallway that you see. And to the left, I have my thermostat. Then I also have this cute mirror that I got from Home Goods. I feel like this is really like a unique shape. And then over here on the right, the first closet I have is the utility closet just for like the AC and stuff. And then the next closet is the washer and dryer, which this was definitely one of my favorite parts about the apartment was having like a nice updated washer and dryer because it has like all these different modes, which I like. And over here I have just my vacuum. I also have a drying rack for clothes and another clothing rack over there. Since my apartment is small, I just kind of had to make do with like little crevices and just kind of like throw things in where I could fit them. And right across there on the left is my bathroom. And I feel like this is a really good sized bathroom. It honestly probably took up a little too much space. I feel like they could have used some of this space for the rest of the apartment, but it has this huge vanity, lots and lots of storage. I have this little thing from West Elm, which is just like my jewelry holder. And then I have this pink soap pump from CB2. This little tray is from CB2. This candle I just got from, I think, Home Goods. And then this is like a little marble toilet, not toilet, <laughs> I mean toothbrush holder that is also from CB2. And then here's the mirror. Then under here, it's like sort of organized, but um, I just have these pink little bins that I got from the container store and a lot, a lot of toiletry products. So I'm not even really gonna go into that, but that's what I kept in there. And then I have these three drawers on the side, which is great for storage. I just bought these little organizers from TJ Maxx and it kind of just stores all of my toiletries and then like my hair products and stuff down here. And then behind the door, I have a hook with just my little hair towel hanging on there. And then this little palm tree print is just from TJ Maxx. And I have a little pink towel here. Over here is my toilet. So I have this trash can from TJ Maxx. This um, holder right here for tissues is also from TJ Maxx. And then I don't really know where that's from, but I think Target, if anything. Then we have my shower. So I have a shower and a bathtub. The shower curtain and liner are both just from TJ Maxx. And then I have this huge um, rack thing, which I got from Target. It's like called like the large because it fits so many hair products. I just have a ton of hair products. So I really like the size of this one. And also my shower head filter, I almost forgot, is the T3 shower head filter. Got it from Ulta or Sephora and it's supposed to filter your water and help your hair and your skin. And I actually think it works. So that's like a good tip if you guys live in an apartment and you might have like hard water. Then coming out of my bathroom, I have my closet right here. And this is just a little pompous grass thing that I got from CB2. These black ones, I just really like the black. And then the vase below it is from West Elm. So my closet, I haven't really organized it in a while. Um, but this is my closet with all my clothes and shoes. So I kind of just like made do with what I could, got some shelves, got these bins right here from the container store, and basically it goes back that far there, and then also kind of far back there. So I just have like extra towels, I mean not towels, blankets there, and then like some toiletry stuff. Just mostly everything, it's just like a huge jumble of stuff. 
And then next to it, I have this really pretty piece of art, which I got from TJ Maxx. I was looking for something like this for so long, and I finally found one one day at TJ Maxx after going there like every week to see if they would ever have something like this. And I think it's just so pretty. And then below that, I have an acrylic bench that I got from Wayfair and these little fake flowers. The fake flowers are from Michaels and then the vase is from Pier One. And then spinning around is my little bedroom. So this is a studio and it's 456 square feet, but it has this wall right here dividing like the living area from the bedroom area. So this is how I set it up. I put my bed against the wall like that so that it wouldn't stick out here. And I just have my nightstand, which is Pier One. This is the Hayworth collection. I know Pier One is no longer, but I have so many pieces from this collection. I've sold a couple of them, but this is the nightstand and the lamp is just from TJ Maxx. These fake flowers I got from Amazon and also the vase. And then under here, I have this little pink box, which I got from, I think this is from um, Container Store. And then I have like a little drawer and I just have like my sleep mask in there, some hand sanitizers and stuff like that. As for my bed, I have a full size bed. I've always had a full just because like I'm a small person and it doesn't take up as much space. So the headboard is from Pier One. It's the Hayworth collection. And then my bedding is Target and the pillow is also Target. And then my blanket here is from TJ Maxx. And then these pieces of art on the wall are from West Elm. They're so pretty, they're handmade. And then above that, I added my own light fixture, which is also from West Elm. Yeah, it's from West Elm. And then over here is the kitchen. It's just like a galley style kitchen. So starting with the counter space, I just have this Dior book, which I got from Amazon. And the little candle holder thing is from Pier One and the candle itself is just from TJ Maxx. Then this is the cabinet that I would keep all of my food. Then I have my little paper towel holder from TJ Maxx. That's from TJ Maxx. And then that's from TJ Maxx too. <laughs> and then this is a sink. It was like a nice big sink. I really liked how wide the sink was. And then there's a dishwasher right here, which is a pretty good size. Underneath the sink, I just put all of my cleaning products. So I have a lot of cleaning products and then my trash under there. Coming over here, I have my iPad and this bottle of champagne, which I literally just bought because it's cute and it matches my decor. So I haven't drank it, it's just like been sitting here for months. Um, above it, I have all my dishes. So as you can tell, I love pink, but I have all my plates and then glasses, and then up there I have just like water bottles. Coming underneath here is where I keep my pots and pans. I also have two blenders, and yeah, that's that. Then I have my stove and my microwave, and this little thing right here is a fruit bowl from Crate and Barrel. The stove looks like this, and it's pretty big. This little towel thing I think I got from TJ Maxx, definitely TJ Maxx. On the left here, I have these little drawers. So I have silverware and uh, measuring cups. And then this one, I have knives. I have these glass straws from Amazon and the silicone straws are also from Amazon. This one, I just keep these like little stasher pouches. So they're like reusable stasher pouches. And then I have some oven mitts and some extra towels for over here. And then the bottom is like my stationary drawer. So I just have a bunch of pens and stuff like that in there. So then turning around, this is my little mini living room area. And I think it's so cute. I just like how I decorated it. I think it's like super cozy. So we have my kitchen table, which is a teeny table. When I bought this, I didn't know it was gonna be this small, but this, I don't know if you can tell in the lighting, but it's, it's like baby pink, so it's so cute. It's from West Elm. And then the two acrylic chairs are from Wayfair. They came in a set, but I love the acrylic just because it's like a small space. I feel like it looks like more open with the acrylic chairs. And then this super cute swivel chair right here 
is from City Furniture, which is a Miami company. And it's so comfy. It feels like a cloud and it's supposed to look like the like restoration hardware style, like cloud couch. Perfect for the space and I feel like it looks smaller on camera, but you can actually like sit down on it and like lean back and have your legs out. And I have this full length mirror right here. I've had this for years. This one is from, um, what's that store called? Bed Bath & Beyond, <laughs> yeah. This mirror is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I've had it for years. It's just like a glass mirror. It has like really pretty detail on the side. Over here is my TV. So I have this flat screen TV that I don't really use, but it looks good here on the wall. Right here, I just have some decorations from TJ Maxx. I have these roses right here that were sent to me by Rose Forever. They last like a year and they're real roses. They're so pretty. I do have a code for them as well. So I'll leave that down in the description. They have tons of other colors, different sizes. And then I have this Chanel book that I got from Amazon. And then these two candles are from Pier One. And this is where I keep like all of my folding clothes. So I have like workout tops in here workout bottoms and just like a bunch of other stuff that i don't have hanging up in the closet i have this little poof seat thing which i got from pier one before they closed i'm so sad that pier one closed because they were one of my like favorite places to shop for home decor but also i forgot about this light fixture this i also had installed i bought it myself this is from west elm and then i have a little balcony over here so i never really finished furnishing it but i will show you guys so this table right here it's really dirty because it gets dirty out here that one is from west elm the rug is from target and then that little planter thing is also from target but yeah super cute i was supposed to get a chair to go right here but a lot of furniture was so back ordered that it just never came oh and i almost forgot here's the fridge which i just have a little notepad and this little dry erase board from Target on there. Yeah, so I really loved how I decorated this apartment. It's so me, it's like very girly and the baby pink is just like, something I always wanted to do was decorate my apartment pink. And I wasn't really able to do that until I like lived alone for the first time. So I just like how I was really able to like express my style and everything in this apartment. Mm -hmm.